Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Goddess Lily and today I want to talk to you about my new lace closure support straps and how awesome they are and how they keep your wig totally totally flat and how you can wear your hair back if you have good edges or good hairline you can wear them back and how it would just stay in place how you can wear it up in a style like mine and don't have to worry about it lifting away from the scalp and just how awesome it is so the first thing I want to talk to you about is the actual lace support wig strap it's made with durable half an inch black elastic has two fasteners on it slides for loosening and adjusting now the way that you have to wear this strap is you have to actually loosen it put it on around your head you're going to want to put the stationary fastener right by your ear sort of like this this is the stationary fastener right here once you have that then you're going to want to tighten it to maximum capacity or wherever you can stand it and then you're going to want to take maybe a white crayon or a yellow crayon and mark the ends of your closure and then you take it off and you go ahead and cut that middle portion out because you don't want to sew this strap all the way across because it is thick and it will show a little bit so I have that instruction package included inside each wig strap it has a instructions on how to use it so once you cut that portion out, there's two ways that you can wear it. The first way that you can wear it is with a sew-in. Say you sew your closure in and you go ahead and sew your weave down. You know after two weeks your closure is going to start lifting away because your hair is growing. I'm sure you've seen that. I've seen it millions of times sitting in the nail salon where you know that I can tell that closure separated from the scalp because it's lifting up that person's hair growing. You don't have to worry about with the strap because as it lifts you just tighten a little more and it'll keep it nice and flat so that's the first way so I'm going to show you how I sew it in I don't wear sew-ins but I'm going to show you how I would sew it in for a sew-in if you're wearing a sew-in you're going to want to sew your straps right on the very edge of your closure so it will look something like this it won't be sewn all the way down because you're not wearing a wig, you're just wearing a sew-in. So once you attach your closure, you don't want to ever sew it across the front. You don't want to damage that delicate lace across the front and you want it to lay flat anyway. So you want to sew your strap right on the edge and then the remaining portion of the strap will go around your head. It'll be free flowing like this and you just tighten it and loosen it as you want it. So that's how you will wear it as a sew-in. For those of all you that wear closure sew-ins. If you wear a full lace wig like me or lace frontal wig or even a lace closure wig you're going to want to go ahead follow the first steps and split it. Go ahead and put little glue on the edge to keep it from fraying and then you're going to want to sew it right you know to right behind your ear. You want it to stop probably right there. So you go ahead and you just sew it all around all three sides. And then it's all ready to tighten. Here it is. You sew both sides. Both sides are securely sewn down. That's that side. And then it's all ready to nestle around your neck. So now I'm going to show you how it looks. So I just loosened it a little so you can see how it looks and then I retightened it back. nice sewn in. I have it sewn in like right to where it aligned with my ear. 
and it's just really, really tight. So I just nestle it behind my ear. You can, I mean, if you want to wear it all the way, your wig all the way down, if your wig's that big, you can pull it all the way down. I wear mine right behind my hairline. And I just pull just that little bit of hair out. Less hair on my face, the better for me, because as you can tell, I'm already sweating. I have the over 50 menopause thing going on, so these lights are hot. I'm going to sweat. So this is how I have my mirror right here. So this is how you wear it. You can wear your hair up. Nice, flat, flawless finish. You don't ever have to worry about it lifting. Now, as you know, I do make the lace wig support straps and these straps are clear. They're two in the pack for $15 and this, these straps are to be worn with your double sided wig tape. So these straps, these clear straps are not for sewing in, they're for wearing with double sided wig, types, wig tape and they're mostly for women that just don't have the thickness of hair around the perimeter and they don't have hair to stick combs into so this strap is for you it will keep your wig down it's just not meant for sewing in this strap is for sewing in so this strap can be worn both ways it can't be worn with tape though it can be sewn in or it can be worn with closure sew-ins so you can sew it for your closure or you can sew it into your wig like I have it okay so these straps sell for $10, one in a pack, and they're on my website, wigweaves.com, and you can also order them through PayPal. I have the links for PayPal on there, and you can also order them internationally through PayPal. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Thank you for watching.